with Banjo, and uh, pleasure to meet you. Okay, so first question, how are you enjoying Las Vegas? What do you think of the Las Vegas event? Oh, yeah. uh, cup runneth over. I've been coming to trade shows for 20 years. This is by far the best. It's hot. I can see it. I've been watching it from the perimeter the last couple of years. Very stoked I came. Absolutely do whatever I can to support this show and keep it moving on into the future for a decade. Very cool. All right, uh, second question I want to ask you is, where do you see the glass blowing industry evolving to in the future? I think we're pretty much uh, just about there right now. And what that is, is uh, it's become a container for all kinds of different um, people and, and a lot of different backgrounds and, and interests. I mean, it's, we're, once upon a time, people would have to go to like the, the hippie show or the dead concert or the, the reggae show or something to come into contact with a lot of this, you know, uh, woke stuff and spirituality and chakras and organic food and all kinds of things like that. But once upon a time, only those of us who were like just misfits and were looking for something else would go find these strange little countercultural scenes and learn about this type of stuff. And, and so that basically, in the 90s when the Grateful Dead came in, out of that scene came the glass scene and it kind of contained that same spirit of sharing and hippiness and the whole open, but it, it carried it out into a way that's more uh, approachable and more digestible by the entire world culture. Not just kind of the upper middle class white kids that are like, even something to kind of get rooted down with it, that the dead and that whole hippie shit that feels good. So we're there right now as far as I can tell, like it's grown up and when we see what happens the dead scene when it blew up in 87 with MTV and letting all the college kids know it destroyed it and it caved in under its own weight but at that point when that happened the glass scene emerged from it and it, it was like a super monster charged with the vibe from all of those years which the dead had kept that 60 psychedelic open tribal to you know love yourself in the neighborhood vibe the dead at this point preserve that all the way from the 60s when it was doing the summer love thing and then the government came in and made it fucking you know outlawed the psychedelics and pumped in the heroin and fucking and shit today the dead and a few others like contain that vibe the dead rainbow gathering family break down the river just I got you. You know, country fair. <laughs> Just get along. Right? Yeah, 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 for yeah, sure. So, so. All right. That's a great, that's great though. We're there. Okay, so the final question here. What advice do you have for new glass blowers or artists getting, like starting right now? What advice say, do you have? I would say find somebody who's, who's doing it, you know, and, and doing it like as a living maybe or somebody who's doing it all the time uh -huh. it doesn't really matter how good they are just find somebody who's doing it all the time and find out what you can do to help them out and, and be able to hang around and maybe you've got somebody that you know they like you and they want to see you flourish and they might start teaching you stuff that's how it was for me I got a kid who needed to pay his oxygen bills on his dad's oxygen account and I came in and paid those bills for him paid the bills paid his oxygen Learn how to push balls. Nice. Learn how to make pipe. You know. Very cool. That's that's great. It's yours. I appreciate that. Thank yeah. you. Okay.